It's part three of our sensational Sideman series with David Varnardo. Here's David with his son Colt, a fourth generation Varnardo family musician. He's had people from here when he was first getting started out that, that uh, when he was young and leaving this band from Beaumont, trying to make it with the Nashville group. And some have tried to pull him down and tell him he wasn't the player he thought he was going to, that was. He'd realized that when he got to Nashville. And he, at some points, didn't want to go. But I told him, you know, try it. That's your dream. That's what you have to do. I wasn't going to go. I decided I was, maybe I should stay here, you know. And I went to a certain person here and told him I had a chance to go do something with another artist. And this person told me, and he's from Groves. Mm -hmm. When you find, you'll find when you get to Nashville, you're not the fiddle player you think you are. But since then, he's made lots of friends, friends that respected him and his music in Nashville. He's been nominated for ACM Award for Musician of the Year before with some great other fiddle players. He's done Grand Ole Opry numerous times, the Ryman. In fact, I asked her to, while I was working for Johnny Paycheck, I asked, I asked Dina to marry me on the Grand Ole Opry. It was actually when Johnny Paycheck was being inducted into the, uh, the same, yeah, that's right. Grand Ole Opry. The same night Paycheck was being inducted, she was standing next to me and we were waiting for our segment to go on for our portion. And, uh, the band had already went out to start setting up, and I knew it was getting to where, man, I gotta, I gotta make a move here in about two seconds. So I turned around and asked her, I said, do you love me? And she said, yes, I do. I said, I love you too. And I asked her to marry me within, I guess you could have counted to three, I need to be on the opera, and I was actually needing to get to my spot before the TV portion Just started. Just long enough to hear a yes. <laughs> I saw you, darling. I couldn't hardly believe my own eyes. Here comes this week's Honky Tonk Texas Fabulous Flashback. <laughs> Sonier one time. We're standing right in front of uh, Joel Sonier's case. I think they might have to uh, build another wing on this place to add your stuff because it's filling up fast. There's yeah. too much talent here in one spot yeah. with these two guys. Man, uh, and you just won a Grammy like a year or two I ago. I sure did, did 2015. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I, had five, I had five nominations, you know, yeah. and, and it finally got the one that I've been looking hard, you know, a long time waiting for. Yeah. What do you think about Dave getting inducted today? Oh, it's fabulous. I'm, I'm so proud of him. He, like I said, uh, we started back in the early days. He came out. To, to and help help me do a yeah, show. Yeah, how many years ago was that that video clip that we saw? To tell you the truth, it was in 1995. King of the road. That was this week's Honky Tonk Texas fabulous flashback. Honky Tonk Texas in Silsby is the Southeast Texas headquarters for live music, dinner, drinking, and dancing. Honky Tonk Texas features a steady stream of the best live entertainment in the Lone Star State. Come scoot a boot and shoot some pool or shuffleboard. Make plans to be at the Honky Tonk Texas every Thursday for steak night. Delicious Texas sized steaks cooked to perfection with all the fixings. And don't forget the world famous Honky Tonk Grill inside of Honky Tonk Texas. See your favorite national, regional, and local artists on the Honky Tonk stage. Honky Tonk Texas presents the Buggy Kings on Saturday, February 13th. Get your tickets early at the box office or at honkytonktexas.us.